Good morning, guys. Uh, let's see. I was going to talk about... Oh, when you lose your amnesia, people... Okay, I've heard a lot of people comment and a lot of people say that they can't wait to remember. All right, guys. I'm getting the impression now after two years that you guys think that you're going to remember like big thoughts. You're going to remember whole plots of information. That's not how it happens, guys. Uh, very, 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 very rarely. <laughs> I did, but I had to die to do it. So uh, I'm assuming you don't want to do that. Although there's nothing wrong with dying. I'm just saying most people don't want to do it that way. So the way that most people do it is you will get it in very tiny increments. You'll get it in moments in time. And uh, Sandy's given me permission to tell her experience. Yesterday, she was, or day before, I don't remember, she was out wandering the woods like she does in her meditative state. And she came back and she was talking to me and she said, I think I had an interaction with magical being. And then she stopped herself and I looked at her and smiled and she stopped herself and she said, no, I did have an uh, interaction with a, human, with a magical being being and she's absolutely right but that's how you get the information you will get it in very small very tiny at the beginning increments and it's kind of like a test that you'll give yourself this opportunity to remember this knowingness and then always you have free will you will ask you all do i want to remember i want to remember i want to remember so the law of attraction works and it will bring back and it'll give you tiny moments, one right after the other, for you to remember. But most of the time what people do is they rationalize it away. I didn't see that. Oh, that couldn't be real. Um, they'll say, but what if? I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Although, I'm not sure is much better than, oh, that didn't happen. But if you... If you are in the now, instead of worrying about letting your brain, so if you go into a meditative state and you walk through life, these little moments will occur, at which point you go, I, I felt that. I saw that. I know that. I remember that. Whenever you listen to me, you do that, and that's good. But you need to go beyond that. You need to go out in your day-to-day -day life. When you guys listen to me, you're going, I get a lot of... I know, I know that what you're saying is right. I don't know why. I don't know how. I just know in my gut it's right. That's one of those moments. Now, what you shouldn't be doing is you shouldn't follow that with trying to figure out what I said. Now you're back into thinking and you're not going to just know things. The goal is in, in the now uh, attached to source. You just know shit. You just know it. You just know it instantly. Things just come to you and you know that that's right because you just you just know it. But if you've got to think to know it, now you're away from source. Now you're back into humanity because humans have to think their way into a knowingness. Whereas when you're in the flow with source, you just know. That's how animals know. That's how they flow. That's how plants do it. If you want to remember that's how you've got to do it. You've got to, you've got to allow for those tiny moments. And if you will, and if you will accept them, if you will lean into them, then that will go to the law of attraction. The law of attraction will send you more moments. And it, it comes in small moments, and then it'll come in more small moments. And eventually they will come together, and you'll get a wider knowingness. But you've got to start with the little tiny steps. And a lot of people I talk to... They're not wanting to do the little tiny steps that I talk about. But it is absolutely necessary for you, you to get out of this. you got to start with the tiny steps before you get the aha moments. People that get aha moments, usually something very dramatic happens to them to get those aha moments. And a lot of you, I think, have watched the NDE stuff. Well, that's pretty dramatic, right? So if you don't want <laughs> traumatic things to happen to you and you want the knowingness, uh, start paying attention to those uh, when the hair sticks up on the back of your head because you know something's behind you and you turn around and there's nothing. There is something. Just say there is something. You don't have to know what it is. You can accept that moment that, yeah, there's something behind me. I just can't see it with five human senses that are very weak. But that's no big deal. I can still know that there was something there. And your instincts are always right. 
always. So allow your instincts to rule, not your thinking brain. Your thinking brain is most of the time wrong. <laughs> your instincts always right. Okay? Okay. That's it, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my subscribers. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Love you bunches. See you later. Huge hugs. Bye.